you might be wondering how does information model look like so the information model would have multiple tables joined so it can be a pure header table it can also join to the vendor table then to the pure item table then to the pure history table and then to the partner roles so you might want to join all these tables in a graphical format drag and drop link them and then when you execute them it should give you the output so this is on high level how the information model contains so a sample information model would be like this so you drag the pure header table then you drag the pure item table then it can be then the vendor table then EKPA and then you link it say you would link the primary key of um, header view header to the view item and then to the history table and then from vendor to the partners and then from the PO to the vendor and then item to the partners and then history to the partners and then you execute that model so when you execute the model in the back end SQL queries are written automatically for you. It is it is like a program is written for you in the back end and then when you execute that program you get the output. So out of this five different linear table you get a multi-dimensional output. Multi-dimension because it has data from the pure header, it has data from the vendor, it has data from the pure history, everything. So this is the output which you would uh, get after you run the model. So in other words, the modeler or the business user or the functional user who creates the model has to drag some of the tables, they have drop it in the um, graphical editor, link them and then with no SQL knowledge, you create the model and you get the required output and this is all graphical. That is the beauty of modeling in HANA. With no programming knowledge, no SQL knowledge, you are able to get the output which you need so that's the beauty of HANA modeling